Greetings to all. My name is Francine Dalida. This is a public announcement in regards to the earthquake that happened last week. I hope you are all safe. As the head of the Committee on Disaster Risk Management, I want all of you to know what an earthquake is, how it is formed, how would it affect the people and its properties, and how could we find ways to reduce the damages. An earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the Earth, resulting from a sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. An earthquake is caused by a sudden slip on a fault. The tectonic plates are always slowly moving, but they get stuck at their edges due to friction. When the stress on the edge overcomes the friction, there is an earthquake that releases energy in waves that travel through the Earth's crust and cause the shaking that we feel. An earthquake is measured on Richter scale. A seismometer detects the vibrations caused by an earthquake. It plots these vibrations on a seismograph. The strength or magnitude of an earthquake is measured using the Richter scale. Quakes measuring around 7 or 8 on the Richter scale can be very, very devastating. Again, don't forget the basics. Practice dock cover and hold. The effects of the earthquake are terrible and devastating. Many buildings, hospitals, schools, etc. are destroyed due to it. A lot of people get killed and injured. Many people lose their money and properties. It affects the mental health and emotional health of people. The environmental effects of it are that including surface faulting, tectonic uplift and subsidence, tsunamis, soil liquefaction, ground resonance, landslides, and ground failure, either directly linked to a quake source or provoked by the ground shaking. Earthquakes impact on food security and agriculture-based livelihoods. Loss and injury of people, members, and workforce. Loss of crop yields and livestock, damage to irrigation systems, damage to people's homes, animal shelters, stock, areas, and business premises. Methods of reducing earthquake hazards Considerable work has been done in seismology to explain the characteristics of the recorded ground motions in earthquakes. Such knowledge is needed to predict ground motions in future earthquakes so that earthquake-resistant structures can be designed. Although earthquakes cause death and destruction, the greatest losses, both of lives and of property, result from the collapse of man-made structures during the violent shaking of the ground. Long story short, the most effective way to mitigate the damage of earthquakes from an engineering standpoint is to design and construct structures capable of withstanding strong ground motions. Training and Preparation Regularly check the integrity of fire extinguishers, pumps, and water tanks. Fire is the most common hazard after an earthquake. Assemble disaster preparedness kits. Duck cover and hold. Move away from windows and doors. Drop to the floor, take cover under a sturdy table, or desk against an inside wall. Grasp one of its legs while covering your head with your other arm. If you're outside, Move into a clearing and away from power lines, trees, and buildings. Drop to the ground and wait for the shaking to stop. If you are near unstable slopes or cliffs, be alert for falling rocks or landslides. If you are driving, pull to the shoulder or off the road, away from traffic, road signs, and power lines. Don't stop on or under bridges. Stay in the car with seat belt fastened until the shaking stops. If you resume driving, go slowly and look for possible road damage. Please, educate yourself. At the end of the day, you own that body. You are in charge of that body. So please, take good care of it.